Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here for today's video. As we all know, the New York Knicks are searching for a new head coach and Tom Thibodeau is actually the number one leading candidate for the spot. And I was actually thinking about it and I love the idea of him going over to the New York Knicks just because I feel like he can bring like a grit and grind factor to the team and kind of build it with that mindset. Um, that would kind of hopefully bring some respect to the franchise. Now, I'm not talking about grit and grind from the aspect of, you know, Marcus Morris going around like bitch slapping people and stuff like that. I'm talking about, you know, a team that just goes out there, works hard, and it's like, you know, teams respect that, right? Like, they, like, like, like they see the New York Knicks on their calendar, be like, damn, bro, I'm going to be sore the next day after this one. Um, so for today's video, we are going to try to build a team like that. Now, before we get going on it, guys, if you don't mind dropping a like on this video, man, the goal is always 1,000 likes. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you're one of the 48% of people that watch my videos that are now subscribed, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to 250K subscribers. Um, yeah, man, so thank you all so much for that. So... Honestly speaking, as you guys can see uh, real quick here, we do have Tom Thibodeau hired as the coach. Now, he's not actually in the game, but I kind of made him to my best, you know, efforts right there. I thought he's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good head right there for the most part. I mean, maybe a little less hair, a little bit more on the waistline, but uh, I meant not hair on the... Okay, yeah, that's not... Okay, yeah, whatever. We're going to just go ahead and go back to the Ross here, man. Um, but no, I actually think it's a pretty good you know, situation for Tibbs out there. Because Mitchell Robinson, I think, definitely could be the anchor of this team out there at the center position. Uh, I always say the next, like, Rudy Gobert, maybe even a better offensive version of him. I absolutely love his game out there. Um, now, let's also be honest, this team does need a bit of a rehaul. Julius Randle definitely is a ball stopper on the team. Uh, Bobby Portis, I don't mind for the right price. Keep in mind, guys, the right price. Alfred Payton definitely need a new point guard. Maybe as a backup, I'm kind of okay with him. Todd Gibson. Um, of course, he's actually played for him on the Chicago Bulls, and I like R.J. Barrett a lot, too. Now, the thing about R.J. Barrett is that he has to be up for the task. Uh, he's really going to have to dig deep to see if he can be that guy out there in Tibbs' offense because, notoriously speaking, but like based off the pass, he likes to play his uh, wing players quite a bit. Luol Deng, uh, Jimmy Butler, so, you know, guys like that, man. So, hopefully, R.J. Barrett would be up for the task, and I think he actually would. So, it should be a lot of fun here, man. And also, yo, if you can make Frank Nilakina something, finally, that'd be great. But Frank Nilakina could actually be a top defensive player in the, in the uh, entire NBA. Um, I'm actually going to invest him in, in him. He's only 21. So, you know, I kind of want to work him into the lineup and do some things with that. Now, I'm saying he's going to be the starter, but we'll see what we can do. Um, so here we go, man. The first thing we're going to do is the NBA draft. Uh, based off this draft lottery, the uh, Knicks do have the second pick. So, you know, definitely looking towards a point guard like a LaMelo Ball. Uh, Anthony Edwards, if available, I would definitely take him run RJ at the three spot. So, yeah, I, I think I would want Anthony Edwards first. And then if not available, LaMelo Ball, just because I, I feel like Edwards is more of a sure thing. And that's kind of what the Knicks need these days is more of a sure thing. So we'll see what happens. See what's offered up right here. Um, so the first pick to the Atlanta Hawks, they're probably not taking a point guard. And yeah, they do go with Anthony Edwards. Makes sense. Him teams up with Trey Young. So that could be a bit of a rivalry in the Eastern Conference for many years to come. But it's all good here, man. Okay, our pick's up next. So um, as far as players available, I mean, we all know who's available at this point, right? Uh, definitely need a point guard, guys. And, you know, we're going to go with the La LaMelo Ball. It just makes complete sense. Um, and, you know, he's who's, he is who is available. So 6-7 out of Australia, LaMelo Ball, one of the Ball brothers. Hopefully, you can change just the whole entire course of this franchise. So, as far as other picks, we do have the uh, 26 pick in the draft. Let's see what we can get here. Who's actually available that uh, I actually know about, too. Warren Spencer. Okay, so I think some of these guys might be computer. No, here we go. We got Jaden McDaniels. Um, yeah, make sure you offer that. You know, just a really good scoring power for it. I always say maybe like a P.J. Washington type of player, so that would be very nice. But, uh, no, this has been a fantastic draft for the Knicks. Like, we definitely working with some nice things out here, guys. So, LaMelo, 78 overall, instant starting point guard. Jaden might go to the G League for a season. We'll kind of see about that. Actually, looks like, he, like he's a, a Euro stash. Doesn't actually say on the screen, but it's all good. Then we got Nico right here, who uh, we're probably not going to use, so we'll actually just let him walk away. All right, so team player options. Bobby Portis, uh, we do have a team option on him. For $15 million, there's not really anybody in this free in this uh, free agent class that I want all that much, so I would be okay bringing him back for, you know, one season. Alfred Payton, one season as a backup point guard. Todd Gibson, um, I mean, I know his range is going to go down like crazy, so I'm unfortunately not going to bring him back. We just, we're just really not going to use him at all. But, uh, yeah, that I'm okay with. Alrighty, so qualifying offers. Alonzo Trier, 
See, the goal is to put Frank Milikina as the backup shooting guard. So as great as Trier or Dotson potentially could have been, um, they just don't really fit into what I'm doing with this team. So I'm going to let them walk away, you know, get opportunities somewhere else. Alrighty, so money wise, we're good at point guard. Shooting guard wise, we definitely need a shooting guard. Um, unless we start RJ right there. So really either shooting guard or small forward, whatever's kind of looking better out there. And uh there's not really like that guy available that we absolutely 100 percent need. So because like I, I love Montrez, but we already have Mitch Robinson for the uh, center spot, so we don't really need him at all. Um yeah, I'm not really going to spend money if I don't really need it. I mean, I guess I would be interested maybe in like Evan Fournier just because he's a pretty solid shooter, helps space the floor. Um, I will get him to like a one-year contract. I'm going to give him like just like $20 million, see what he can do for us out there. And then uh, if not, you know, the money is freed up after the season. We'll give him that, you know, one-year contract. I think he would definitely sign that, and he does. Um, yeah, so these are all guys we were letting walk away anyway. Alrighty, that should be fine. Um, anything else I really want to do this season? I mean, it's going to be all about, you know, continuing the concept and the build of the team, you know, developing the young guys we already do have. Uh, I mean, I don't really want anybody else. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, guys, simulate two at the beginning of the regular season. Then after this season, you know, it's 2021. So we'll see what we can do about that. Okay, so this is the team as of right now. We got LaMelo, RJ, Evan, uh, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson. Bench unit, we got Bobby, Alfred, Frank Nilekina, and... You know, Damien, I mean, we're going to kind of have to make some trades and stuff here anyway. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so the first thing I want to do is definitely find a trade for Julius Randle. I mean, we might as well. We also, he also has a team contract. So, I mean, we could test him out for one more year if we don't absolutely find the trade that we love. But, uh, no, I'm going to toss him in probably with Kevin Knox, who's just not really working out all that much. I mean, I'm saying he can't be something eventually. But I'd rather, you know, try to get something like a star player back from. So we're going to do that and toss in a future first round draft pick, which should be pretty damn valuable. So we got Chris Milton and Dante, Jalen Brown and Davis Bertans. That is a really nice trade there, man. Jalen actually sounds like the perfect type of guy to play in, uh, in uh, Tibbs' system. I really like that, man. I really like that trade. That might have to be it. We got Sabonis, TJ Moore, not bad. Derrick Rose, Fred Van Vliet. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to say, Tibbs, but uh, kind of did some things to Derrick Rose already that kind of maybe ended his career. Or not, didn't really end it, but you all know what I mean. Russell West with Robert Covington. I love Russell. We just, you know, we don't really need him because we already do have uh, LaMelo Ball as the future of the team. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, CJ McCollum, not bad. Clay Thompson, Eric. Okay, out of all these, uh, Jalen definitely gives me that grit and grind feel to him, right? So we're going to go with him for our starting shooting guard out there. And that gives us another really good piece to build around. Um, so yeah, we'll put him at shooting guard. And then I'm thinking we go with R.J. Barrett as the small forward. Yep, that should be fine. And then uh, Evan Fournier will probably just be a really good shooting guard for us off the bench. So that should be nice. But also, you get uh, we got uh, Bobby Porter's at the power forward spot. Let's actually switch him to a backup center. He can play either position just fine. But uh, yo, where's he at? Where's he at? Bobby Portis. Okay, center goes down to a 76. I don't care. That's fine. Uh, no, we got Davis Bertans, who was actually one of the leaders in the three-point shot for the Washington Wizards. Doesn't really play a lot of defense, but I feel like him with Rich Robinson out there, very intrigued about that for an entire season. So we'll kind of rock with that. And uh, yeah, for the G League, let's go ahead and toss Jaden into that. I mean, you know, we'll see what happens with him. It's like maybe eventually he can be like that replacement for uh, Davis Bertans out there anyway. So he'll be tossed in there. And uh, let's go with Ignis Brazdakis for a... Okay, I guess we don't have enough roster spots to actually put him in there. That's all good. And then, like, we got Dennis Smith here. I'm going to see if I can flip Dennis Smith for, like, a second-round pick. Just because the man needs an opportunity. And it's not going to be with this team. We've kind of all come to that realization. So, um, yo, George Hill for... Uh, and we, yo, hit a first-round pick? Damn, Buck's taking a chance. Uh, what else we got here, guys? That's a really nice trade. Here we got, yo, Kuzma and Alex Caruso. We do have to give up Jaden, who we toss into the G League, only a 19-year-old. And then Kuzma is due some money after this season, probably. But uh, I could see Kuzma being the starting power forward for this team eventually, guys. I actually kind of like that trade. Luke Kennard, Marcus Morris. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go with Kuzma. And then Alex Caruso, you know, he's cool too. Kuruzma, that's not his name. That's not his name. I don't know why I said that, but it's all good, man. Okay, but we're still going to go with Bertans as the starting power forward. And Kuzma will be a backup for right now. Um, Evan Fournier is right there. Yeah, we don't really, I think Nilakina, just so we can get like some confidence. Like I said, he's only 21. No, yeah, he's 22 at this point. Okay, we are going to put him on the Westchester Knicks. 
um, just because we don't really need him, and I think he can develop to be a really good, you know, 3 and D player eventually. All right, man, this is the team we are rocking with. I'll even give, you know, Caruso uh, about, uh, you know, a few minutes per game out there, but here's the team, guys. It's a playoff team, if you ask me. Uh, it's not quite a championship team, but it's definitely at least like a 7 seed, I would think, in the, uh, you know, Eastern Conference. So, system proficiency, uh, two and a half star grant and grind, not, like, ideal. I'm going to actually have to switch this out. Let's go with, uh, let's go with a seven second system, see if that does well for us, man. But I'm going to go ahead and simulate this NBA season, and we are going to see how this new look New York Knicks team can do. Okay, so a record of, uh, 34 and 47, you know, rookie point guard, a uh, whole new coach and team and system and stuff. I wasn't really expecting them to be all that dominant, uh, and we didn't really do all that much in free agency anyway. So yeah, 34 wins on the season. Uh, James Wiseman, rookie of the year on the, uh, Detroit Pistons. Porzingis, most approved player. Yo, we got to bring back New York, uh, guys. Actually, I don't think that would probably work out either way. But, uh, yeah, man. So, playoff-wise, we are not in the playoffs. That's okay. I'm probably going to look to trade my draft pick, actually. But uh, let's go to the player stats on the season, see how everybody did. So, Jalen Brown, 21 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Fantastic. RJ at 16, 4, and 2. Love seeing that. Uh, LaMelo in his first season at 15 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists. And then Bertans, 48 were good. Mitchell Robinson with the uh, double-double playing great defense. Kuzma, you know, probably uh, assuming free agency, we don't get somebody else and want to sign him to like a larger contract. I could see him probably being the starter next season. So here we go. Uh, playoffs. Yep, don't really care too much about it because we are not in it for now. Next season, I think we'll get in the playoffs, guys. I thought maybe this team could have got the eighth seed, but, you know, I wasn't totally betting on it. And uh, we do have the Dallas Mavericks winning the championship. Luka Doncic. Here we go. Moving on, guys. Alrighty. So... NBA draft have no idea which pick it's actually going to be but uh yeah we should be able to get something pretty decent uh, all things considered and it is the wow we got the fourth pick in the draft okay well I guess we got to see who's available we'll do that first so overall wise we got uh Jonathan uh we got Zier Williams Greg Brown Brandon Boston Jr so some really solid players I'm just at the point where we don't really need any of these guys so let's go to trade finder Let's talk. Okay, so all we got to trade is draft picks. All right, let me trade that. I'm going to trade three draft picks, guys. All three of them. You know, I'll you know, see what we get offered up. So we got Clint Capella in the first rounder. Tobias and Reggie Jackson. Uh, Vucevic, Terrence Ross. Sabonis and Shabazz Napier. DeMar. And we got, oh, Devin Booker. Okay, okay. Uh, Devin Booker, man. Would he fit into this team? Not really, because we already do have, you know, Jalen and RJ. I'm actually kind of leaning towards Sabonis. It's he's only eighteen million dollars a season. It's a fantastic contract. Um, I mean, once again, just a guy that kind of hustles in the paint and stuff. Obviously, I want to work like work on his three point shot, but I can see him helping this team get to the next level. Uh, it sounds like a good pickup there, man. And I don't really think there's any power forwards. I want to go for all that much anyway in free agency. So I'm gonna rock with him out there. You know, see what we can do. If anything, he'll be better than any of the rookies we would have got here. So. That should be completely fine here, man. Okay, we got some bonus on the team. I don't think that's completely unrealistic. Uh, team player options. Okay, so Mitchell Bag, RJ, Braz Dacus, who is now a 74 overall. Unfortunately, you know, Kyle Kuzma probably is not going to be starting now. But, uh, yeah, we'll still try our best to, uh, you know, get him, at least for a really good six-man. Him and Frank Nilakina could be a really solid foundation to work with. Um, so, yeah, obviously Giannis is available. I'm not going to get Giannis every single rebuild. I, I could go for him, but I don't see him going to the New York Knicks. So, yeah, man. Uh, not going for him as far as other players out here Once again, man, it's just like it's not really a lot. I want or need on this team You know like I guess if I want to use RJ Barrett off the bench We could kind of rock with that. I do need a backup point guard So Derrick Rose actually had some pretty solid uh, times on yo actually. No, let's go with uh, let's go with Schroeder He's only 27 five-star system match um, he would do a fantastic job actually backing up LaMelo. Let's actually go with him. Not that I don't love Derrick Rose, but, uh, I could see them going for a guy like Dennis Schroeder. So we're going to get him on the team and, uh, yeah. Oh, we got to renounce on Frank Nilekina to do so. I think it's probably worth it though. I think Dennis Schroeder does really good in 2k. So yeah, we're going to get him on the squad and, uh, you know, kind of go from there and there we go. Okay. So Dennis Schroeder, any other bird rights we got out there we can go for? Yes. Let's get Kuzma back on a pretty solid contract. Come on, Kuzma. There we go. Uh, let's get ourselves a backup center. Nerlens Noel, Frank, uh, I'm sorry, Frank Kaminsky, Kelly Olenek. Um, I'll go with Noel. You know, once again, another just kind of traditional type of center out there, but no issues with that. Uh, backup shooting guard. Yup, Evan Forney. I think he's earned himself a little bit, bit of a longer contract since we don't have Nilakina anymore, but it's okay. 
And besides for that, man, I'm going to go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season. Uh, I am going to go ahead and use some training camps. Probably on, I definitely want to use a uh, perimeter shooting thing on Sabonis, and we'll kind of go from there. Okay, guys, here is the team going into the next season. Absolutely love it. It definitely gives me that grit and grind feel to it. We got LaMelo Ball, Jalen Brown, RJ Barrett. Sabonis at the four spot, which now has like a 71 three-point shot. So, you know, you can't leave him open, which is definitely good. Uh, we've got Mitch Robinson at center. Benching, we do got Dennis Schroeder with Evan Fournier at small forward. Shabazz Napier playing some backup shooting guard. And Kyle Kuzma with uh, Nerlens Noel. So, I think real quick here, uh, I am actually going to try to trade back for Frank Nilekina. Just because, you know, I was kind of juicing him up this entire video. Yo, how is Oladipo a free agent? Can I afford him? Yo, come play it for the minimal, man. I'll get you back. Okay, okay, that's fine. He's insulted, actually. Uh, that's probably completely honestly fine. Okay, so let's go to Player Finder. I'm going for him, guys. I'm going for Frank Milikino. If we get offered up Shabazz for him, I'll definitely do the trade. If not, then, you know, we'll move on to uh, bigger and better things. So, Frank Milikino, Trade Finder, and uh, Dennis, Mitchell, Jalen, DeMontis, and Shabazz with Nerlens Noel. I can't give up my I can't give up my center, guys. I'm sorry, Frank. I'm sorry, man. But uh, you'll be great on your other team. So, yes, as far as our system, we are going to go with the... Well, guys, we got three and a half stars for that. What's Grant and Grind looking like? Grant and Grind is now with three and a half, which is why I wanted to originally run. Um, Let's get it, man. I love the look to this team. It's... I'm going to say probably a fifth seed in the Eastern Conference. And then after this season, you know, once Jalen, Mitchell, all those guys are a year older... Uh, I think the uh, sky's the limit, man. So let's simulate this season and see what happens. Okay, so a huge step in the right direction, guys. 51 and 30. Finally, a respected team out here in the Eastern Conference. Not guaranteed we win a championship, but uh, if anything, we know things are going to be great going into next season at least. So we got one more game against the Charlotte Hornets. And uh, we got Giannis' MVP, Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Um, I mean, I would have took him on, you know, the Knicks and everything too. But even him, I would have had trouble, like, fitting him into the lineup. Rick Carlisle, Coach of the Year. All right, uh, we got All-NBA first, All-NBA second, and All-NBA third. So, no uh, New York Knicks making that, but it's all good, man. We don't care. We don't care about awards. Uh, we have the second seed in the Eastern Conference. You guys cannot see because I'm in the way, but Philadelphia 76ers is who we have in the first round of the playoffs. So, let's see how these new uh, pieces kind of fit in. So, we got Jalen, 19 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. I love these stats here, guys. Everybody just like, like I said, man, that is what great and grind is all about. Like when I think of great and grind, I think like the Miami Heat, just a whole bunch of guys that just put up solid numbers. Not really a superstar. I'm not saying Ban or Jimmy are not superstars, but you know, they just go out there and they put in work. Like, you know, you're going to get hustle every single night. And that's exactly what we got out of this team. Like, RJ Bear, 18 points, four rebounds. Sabonis at 18 and 11. I know I was a little hesitant about actually bringing him to the team, but he worked out pretty damn nicely. Three point shot, you know, 29% on three attempts. I think that's okay. That's all he really needs to be doing. Uh, Schroeder was fantastic. Lamella Ball up to 11 assists, 5 rebounds per game. Robinson with a double-double of 2 blocks. You know, I could, in theory, maybe, probably not, eventually see myself putting Mitch Robinson as a 6-man off the bench. And then Sabonis is a starting center and kind of building around that. We'll see how these playoffs go. I'm not, like, sold on that idea. I think I just want to maybe continue to work on Sabonis' 3-point shot. And it should be fine. But uh, here we go, guys. First round, Philadelphia 76ers. Simulate round, see how this goes. Or we just win the championship this season, you know, and we can have fun with the rest of the rebuild. Uh, we get them in a seven-game series, guys. Went to seven. 27 points for Jalen. 25 and 16 for Sabonis. Next up, we do have the Toronto Raptors. Simulate round here, see how this goes. And, yeah, they get us four games to one. That's okay. Baby steps. We got to the second round of the playoffs. Like, you ain't going to hear me complain about that one bit here, guys. All right, let's get to this next offseason, see what we can do here. Um, Yo, that's kind of funny, guys. Old Depot was not signed. He just won finals MVP at the Raptors. Like, he was not even signed to start the season. That's actually a come-up story if I've ever heard one in my entire life. All righty, uh, staff, sign to make sure Tibbs is still the coach of the team. And he is. We got him for two more years. And I would say so far, so good. His plan is working. You know, everything that we put into place uh, is working out pretty damn nicely, guys. All righty, NBA draft. No idea what pick we're actually going to have here. Um, it is the, yeah, we don't actually have a first round pick, so we'll send to the end. And yeah, we don't care about all that. Team player options. Um, RJ and LaMelo both back on team options. Love that. Should uh, save us a lot of money for this offseason at least. Uh, we'll get Braz Dinkins back, although he's not actually played for us at all. In the moratorium period, yeah, we don't really have a lot of money to work with. Yo, Obi Toppin is available? Bro, you all gave up on Obi? What? Kenobi? Can I afford him? Wait, okay. Okay, things are good so okay, things are good so far. 
Okay, yep. And then I'll do this. Everybody be quiet, man. Everybody be quiet. Bro, I just got OB topping for one year, $4 million. Hell yes, I will take him on my team. Hell yes, I will take him on my team. Okay, I got I got a plan here, guys. I got a plan here, man. Um, give me one second. I gotta I gotta see if I can execute it. Okay, so we are in the beginning of the season here, man. I'm thinking I'm rocking Sabonis at center. And then I'm going to see because Mitchell Robinson's he's nice. But I mean he's put up been putting up like, like like 10 and 12. So I feel like if I can run Sabonis at center and then OB at the power forward spot, I can do a trade of Mitchell Robinson. And let me toss in, I guess, uh, Evan Fournier. We don't really need him anymore. We don't really need him for any reason. No, let's keep Evan. Let's, we'll keep Evan. Uh, Kuzma, we're not really using. Yeah, let's trade away Kuzma. And I'm just curious here, guys. I'm going to toss in Jalen Brown. I'm just curious. See what this could get. That gets us one trade. Yeah, that trade's not it. I'm not doing that. I mean, I can just use Mitch Robinson off the bench if I absolutely need to. Or Sabonis. Yeah, I'm not using Sabonis off the bench. Now, let me take off Jalen here. Let me see what this gets us. Dante, CJ McCollum. Andre Drummond, Jared Allen, Paul George. Okay, Zach Levine, Julius Randle, Brandon Ingram, and okay, I like that trade a lot here, man. I also like Clay Thompson. Okay, so if I had Clay Thompson, probably using RJ off the bench, unfortunately speaking. Same if I get Brandon Ingram. I really like this Brandon Ingram trade here, man. I feel like it gives us like another big time scorer. And we get Drew Holiday, who's probably not gonna play. But no, we make it a we, we, we make it a big time move here, man. We're making a big time splash here. And then, now this is what I'll do. Obi Toppin will come off the bench. Here. What if, uh, this might not work. Okay, what if I put Ingram at power four? Oh, 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 88 overall. So, okay, we're good. We're good. All right, man. This lineup is about to be freaking crazy. Okay, yeah. We're going to replace Obi with Ingram. And now we have a team of LaMelo, Jalen, RJ, Ingram, and Sabonis. I don't know if it gives me exactly the grit and grind feel. But... It does some things for me. I feel like we are a championship team, no doubt now, guys. And that bench unit right there, you know, we're going to go with a nine-man rotation. That's it. That's the team. That's it, guys. I love it. All right, I'm going to do my rotations and everything. Like, you, know, you know what? You know what? This is a Tom Thibodeau-style video. So, in good fashion, that means the stars do actually have to play a lot. RJ Bear is going to be playing 40 minutes a game this season. Tibbs is at the point where he's like, all right, man, I got my, you know, integrity back here in the NBA. Uh, time to start playing the stars lot again here, man. Okay, let's get it, man. Let's get it. Okay. Yeah, we are going to go with uh, Sabonis at about 35. Ingram at 36. Oh, yeah. We got to get these stars playing even more. Bro, this is a Tom Thibodeau video. What am I doing? I got to play these guys so many minutes. Okay. And then we'll get uh, Jalen at about 35. LaMelo at 35. And then RJ, he's going to 43. You know, that's the new, uh, that's the coach's new favorite player right there, guys. All right, man. And then we will, uh, we have three and a half uh, star grit and grind system, which, you know, is tied for everything else. Okay, balance actually a little bit higher. We'll go grit and grind though, man. But uh, no, this is for all the marbles, guys. All the bitch ass marbles. I love the team. I don't love that I traded away Mitchell Robinson, but at the same time, I understand, you know, we got Ingram out of it. So I'm okay with that. I feel like a player like Ingram is more important than a player like Mitchell Robinson in this day and age. Let's go ahead, simulate this NBA season, and see what happens. All right, so a record of 59 and 22. One more game against the Atlanta Hawks right here, and finish with a L on the season, of course. Uh, Luka MVP, Bates as Rookie of the Year. Okay, okay. And we got Tom Thibodeau as Coach of the Year. Man, hair finally starting to grow back, too. Uh, all NBA first, All NBA second, and All NBA third. So we actually got LaMelo Ball making that. That's fantastic. All right, I feel like this is our season here, guys. This is our season to get things done. First seed in the Eastern Conference. Uh, player stats on the season. So, Sabonis, 21 and 13. I mean, we put it back at center. It kind of worked out nicely for him. Uh, 21 for Jalen, 20 for Ingram, 19 for RJ Barrett. We got like four guys, almost five guys, averaging nearly 20 points per game. That is like unheard of. Um, all right, so, you know, what's all LaMelo doing? They got that, what was all NBA second, 17.7 rebounds, 14 assists. Yeah, he's got quite a few players to pass to. All right, man. I mean, I want to win a championship, guys. First round, Brooklyn Nets. Simulate round here. Please, guys. Come on, Knicks. Come on, man. It's been a while since I've won, like, a championship. I think, actually, like, my last rebuild I probably did. Uh, no, yeah, it actually was. I did a Pistons rebuild. We actually didn't win it. So, it's not really actually been that long. But, uh, 31, 4, and 5 for Ingram. 28 for RJ. 17 damn assists for LaMelo. And 12 for Schroeder. All right. Moving on. Next up, Detroit Pistons. Simulate round here. 
And uh, let's get a man. There we go. Four games to two. And luckily, the Chicago Bulls did upset the number two seed, um, Cleveland Cavaliers. So there we go. Here we go, man. Simulate round. See if we can beat them now. Easy peasy. And we actually got the seventh seed in the finals. So that's a pretty good situation. Look at that. 30 and 13 for us a bonus. I love the three, fourth, and three. Man put in the work, and it's paying off. And uh, here we go, guys. Uh, who, the, no, who is it? It's the the Trailblazers. They still got Damian. They got Middleton now. All right. Uh, no longer have CJ. Let's go ahead and simulate round. And there we have it, man. Four games to one. The New York Knicks in three seasons. NBA champions. LaMelo Ball as your finals MVP. Hope you guys did all enjoy this video. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make. They always are. But yeah, if y'all don't mind dropping that like, subscribing if you're new to the channel. And let me know in the comment section below. Did you make it this far in the video, man? Did you watch the entire thing? If you did, let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. And peace out, my friends.